hi there folks and welcome to another workspace wednesday this week we have a fun little function that we're going to write inside of google sheets and it comes from a question on our youtube channel so before we get started make sure you hit the subscribe button and like the video if you enjoy it and it can be helpful for you and feel free to submit your comments or your questions down below where every wednesday we'll be posting a google workspace tip so let's get started uh, this week's question was how can i click on a checkbox to complete a task and automatically generate a date or a timestamp is what they're looking for so what i'm thinking is they're probably like a lot of other people and they're just manually putting it in each time and that gets kind of tedious after a while you can see how long it takes so we're going to go ahead and write a formula that will timestamp this uh, right here in this column when we click on our checkbox now remember checkboxes when they're not clicked are the same as being false and when they are clicked are the same as being true so with that in mind, we're going to use really just two different functions. That's going to be the ifs function and the now function. But we have to do a few little tricky things here to actually make this work. So let's get started. We're going to open our function up with the equal sign. And we're going to go ahead and type in ifs. Now we're not going to use if, so we want to make sure we have ifs because we're going to have a couple of things chained together here. We're going to open up our bracket. And the first cell that we're going to be grabbing is where our checkboxes are in C2. So we're going to go ahead and put in C2. You'll see it'll highlight it right there. And then we're going to hit our equal sign again. And we're going to type in false. Now you can see that right now that checkbox is false. So that's going to be the driver of this entire function. And then what we're going to do is we're going to hit a comma. Now we're going to do something kind of tricky. We're going to put two quotes in. So if C2 is false, we uh, need that to show up blank. And we'll see how this drives in just a second. Then we're going to put another comma in. Now here's where it gets tricky. We don't want to go back to C2. We want to go from D2, which is the cell that we're in. And then we're going to hit equal sign two more quotes and then we're going to put in our now formula and we're just going to close that because what we're going to do later is we're going to turn on our uh, circular dependency or iterative calculations and that will allow each of these to calculate their own date and time without updating every time if you don't do that Every time you hit that checkbox, it's going to update your time and you'll get really annoyed trying to fix that. So we'll put in another comma. Now this is going to give us our instructions for when this checkbox is true. And when it's true, we want to grab what's in D2. So let's go ahead and hit enter. And you'll see here, uh, we can drag this down. Now let's go ahead and check this first one. And you can see we're going to get a reference. Now we don't want that. We want a timestamp for the time that it was complete. So to fix this, what we're going to do is we're going to go to our file. We're going to go to our settings. We're going to click on calculation. And we're going to change our iterative calculation to on. You can choose how many iterations you want. I'm just going to leave it at 50 right now. And then we're going to save our settings. And then what we're going to do is drag this down and you can see that it'll update automatically. Now the next thing we want to do is we want to calculate the time that it's completed. So as soon as we hit this checkbox, we want a date and we want a time that it's completed. So we're going to select the whole column. We're going to go to format. We're going to go down to our numbers and we're going to select date and time. Now let's test it out. And there it is right there. We'll click the other one, click the other one, another one, and you can see it generates all our different times. Now, one more thing we're gonna do in case you want this piece of data, maybe you wanna know how many days this task sat in queue. So that's really easy to do now that we have our function set up for the timestamp. We're just gonna hit an equal sign. We're gonna select our date completed, and we're gonna subtract our date added. 
and you'll see that'll give us our days in queue. So if we were to change one of these, for example, then you'll see that our days in queue will automatically be calculated. So maybe you're adding your list here and you've got clean office and you finally get to it, you check it off, now it automatically calculates. So that's it. That's how you can drive a timestamp using checkboxes uh, with a cool little function. And remember, if you couldn't keep up with the function in the video, it's always down in the description. So thanks for watching, everyone. We'll catch you next time right here on Lean Strategies International LLC. Don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you next week for Workspace Wednesday.